Thank you, Frank. Thank you very much. It's great to be here today. It's great to be with uh, uh, people from the community who are advocates and believers uh, in our cause. I first off, uh, before I get into my comments, want to acknowledge uh, Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers, uh, who has uh, been great for our community uh, in the in the Congress. So, I want to acknowledge her presence. My my role today is is twofold. Uh, I'd like to first. Uh, Acknowledge that we have a video uh, today uh, from uh, uh, President Barack Obama. Uh, before the video is played, a couple comments. Uh, he uh, uh, recorded it, uh, and it is not public. Uh, it won't be released until next week, so all of you and I will see it for the first time uh, right now. And I would just make a comment that uh, uh, I'm prejudiced and that the 40 years that I have uh, been in, in government in one capacity or another, uh, this president uh, has done more for the disability movement than any president that I have been involved with in the whole 40 years. So with that, yeah. let's see the video. Hello, everybody. Nearly one in five Americans lives with a disability, and odds are the rest of us love somebody with one. The issues Americans with disabilities face affect all our lives. Along with your parents, siblings, and friends, you're part of the tradition of diversity that makes us who we are as a country, with courage and dignity. You've worked to shape a more accessible, inclusive America, one that says everybody can instead of everybody can't. Together, we're making sure more Americans have access to quality, affordable health care and life-saving Medicaid coverage. We're investing in educational opportunities through the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, which helps young adults with disabilities get the education and training they need to succeed. And we're working to increase employment opportunities for people with disabilities and improve access to housing, community support, and independent living arrangements. That change hasn't come easily, and we're nowhere near finished. But this November, we need to decide which path to take. Do we throw up our hands and tell folks, you're on your own? Or do we move forward and meet the challenges that lie ahead together? The other side says the way to grow a strong economy is from the top down. That instead of investing in education and health care for all Americans, we should repeal the Affordable Care Act, slash Medicaid, and raise taxes on middle class families who are struggling to make ends meet, all to give the wealthiest Americans a tax cut they don't need and didn't ask for. I'm not willing to let that happen. And as long as I have the privilege of being your president, I promise I'll keep listening and keep fighting to protect the progress we've made. So I'm asking you to go to BarackObama.com slash disabilities today and join people with disabilities for Obama and don't stop there. Talk to your families, friends, and neighbors and ask them to get involved too because we can only move forward together. That will, be, that will be released next week. I think it's very good. Um, secondly, my role today is to introduce the surrogate for uh, the president, uh, someone who's been a longtime personal friend of mine. Uh, Ted Kennedy Jr. has devoted much of his professional uh, and personal energy to work as working as an advocate for the civil rights of those of us uh, with disabilities. Uh, he is the son, as all of you know, of the late Senator uh, Edward Kennedy. Uh, and Teddy is a disability policy expert who speaks on civil rights movement from a disability perspective as a cancer survivor. He discusses his experience with cancer at every point, every time he has a chance. He has done this from a very young age. Ted has served as the Executive Director of Facing the Challenge, a nonprofit advocacy and public policy office on disability related issues. As a teaching fellow on disability policy at Harvard University, uh, Harvard University's John F. Kennedy School of Government, and as an attorney fighting for the rights of persons with disabilities. In addition, uh, he has worked extensively with both policymakers and the corporate world in the areas of expanding job opportunities for people with disabilities. 
And as a personal aside, I hope all of you would join with me at some point in urging Ted while he's doing all this that at some point that um, he decide personally to run for office. It's time. It's time. It's time that Ted run for office. But today my job is to ask him to come up and speak for President Barack Obama. Ted?